Welcome to On DMARC. On DMARC is a Red Sift application that helps organizations block phishing and spoofing emails through the implementation of the DMARC protocol. This tour around our solution will show you how On DMARC offers superior comprehensive reporting, clear actionable insight, and all the necessary support to our customers. In fact, should you have any questions about your On DMARC account, you can contact our support team here in the bottom right corner on our live chat to get assistance in a matter of minutes. In the following sections, you will be given an overview of all On DMARC's features and how they work. Let's dive in. This is your control panel. Here you should add all the domains that you want to manage by clicking Add Domain. On DMARC will then generate a unique DMARC record for you to publish in your DNS. You will notice that the policy we create for you is P equals none. This means you are in reporting mode and your email flow will not be affected by this change. Rest assured, no emails will be blocked at this stage. In this panel, we also support more advanced tag groupings so that you can manage your digital estate more effectively. We will discuss this more in depth when we get to settings. Once you have updated your DNS with your unique DMARC record, we will begin to receive your DMARC reports within 24 hours. On DMARC displays them here for you in easy to understand categories. You can filter all of these reports by domain and time period. The first report is the compliance report. This gives you an overall view of the daily DMARC compliance of emails sent from your domain. You are able to see how many emails you send on a daily basis and how many of those emails passed or failed DMARC or were quarantined or rejected. The next report is the sender's report. This shows you all the sources that have sent emails using your domain. For each source, you can see the number of emails that passed or failed DMARC validation as well as the percentage of those emails that passed or failed SPF and DKIM validation. You can dive deeper into each source to find out further information, such as why the email failed, as well as the breakdown of the failure. The receiver's report is a simple way to see the mail providers that your receivers are using. This is where we have received DMARC reports from. When you hover over each provider, you will see the volume of DMARC reports that have been received for the given time period. Next is the locations report. This map displays all the locations of senders using your domain. It is color-coded to show authorized and unauthorized emails. As a new user, the scary red dots could be malicious threats or they could also be legitimate sources that are currently misconfigured, and we can help you configure them correctly. The final report is the delivery report. This shows you your overall delivery per day and reasons for email delivery. Sometimes emails will be delivered for reasons other than DMARC passing. This report also gives you insight into the newest extensions to the DMARC standard, such as ARC, or Authenticated Received Chain, and Local Overrides, which provide you with a more detailed understanding about how the receiving email server has actioned your policy. So what do you do with all of this information provided to you in your reports? In the Actions tab, we offer you all the necessary instructions for you to properly configure your sources and to get to full DMARC protection confidently and rapidly. We simply ask you to tell us whether a listed sending source is valid or invalid. We call these assets or threats. Under classification, you should spend time looking through the list of senders and mark them as assets or threats. You can multi-select as well to mark more than one at once. When you add a valid source as an asset, on DMARC will then surface the setup instructions for SPF and DKIM configuration for that sender. For additional support, click here and you'll be taken to our knowledge base where there's more detailed information.
Should OnDMARC detect any subdomains, you have the option to monitor them separately by adding a DMARC record to the subdomain. Otherwise, the policy of the root domain will be applied to all of its subdomains. This actionable insight makes configuring your sources easier and more effective than ever. Once you mark a source as an asset, it will then appear in email sources. This offers you more detailed insight into the status of each individual source. This four-part pie icon gives you an instant overview of whether a source is DMARC compliant or not. The top left indicates whether the correct SPF is in your DNS. The top right indicates whether the correct DKIM is in your DNS. The bottom left shows if we have seen passing traffic to confirm SPF is properly set up. And the bottom right shows if we have seen passing traffic to confirm DKIM is properly set up. For well-known sources, we will auto-populate the SPF part and the DKIM selector. For lesser-known sources, instructions will appear in your Actions tab, or one of our experts can help you with the setup. You can also easily edit or delete sources here. You can add notes beside your assets, which is very helpful when tracking your configuration process or adding next step reminders to the admins of your account. Once you have spent time going through the process of authorizing all your assets so they have four green quadrants, and when you have gone seven days with no failures for authorized traffic, then you are ready for full DMARC protection. Forensic reports are a second type of DMARC report. They are sent back for emails that have failed DMARC validation. These reports give you more information about the actual emails themselves. The DMARC protocol redacts all sensitive information from the emails, such as the body of the email, and on DMARC further redacts it, leaving you with the metadata of individual emails. You are presented with the to, from, return path, subject, date, and country of origin. On DMARC has made it easier than ever for our customers to read and understand these reports. The search bar above the reports allows you to find reports by sender, subject, sender IP, or any other aspect of the authentication results. We also support searches for both specific IPs and IP ranges. You can search for multiple identifiers at the same time and set the filtering rule of their relation. If there was a URL within the body of the email, it would be preserved and surfaced for you here. If this was a malicious link, having access to this information would enable you to issue a takedown notice. Dynamic SPF is a unique on DMARC feature that not only simplifies SPF management for any organization, but for those struggling with the 10 DNS lookup limitation, it will help you overcome this. The 10 limit, as per the SPF standard, is there to prevent accidental or malicious DNS amplification attacks on the public internet infrastructure. After the 10th lookup, a receiving mail server will fail the SPF check and move to the next email. This results in major deliverability problems for businesses, and it is crucial to have a way to manage this. Dynamic SPF has protection from any of these issues. It is fantastic for anyone using a number of email services or cloud-based senders, as you can quickly be pushed past the 10 lookup limit. By replacing your SPF record with a smart include statement, Dynamic SPF enables you to have unlimited lookups, ensuring your SPF won't fail and instantly improving your email deliverability. You can manage your includes, A records, MX records, IPv4 and 6 addresses directly within your OnDMARC account. And in fact, directly from email sources, OnDMARC allows you to configure your SPF with just one click. Under Settings, you will see a list of all the domains you manage, as well as any tags you have created. You can modify or delete domains here. We also have built in a tagging feature so you can apply tags to your domains with specific information that separates one domain from another. Once tagged, 
domains can be filtered by those tags, such as active, parked, or priority one, two, or three. You can tag domains within your control panel. If you have more than one person managing your on DMARC account, activity logs are very useful. Here you are able to see who does what, when, filtered by addition, modification, and deletion, marked with a time and date stamp. This is really important for complying with standards like ISO 27001 and ensuring you have a clear way to manage systems access. In your account, you will also be able to set certain permissions, assigning account users certain domains or various levels of access like read-only mode. The analyzer allows you to look up any domain name and see its DMARC and SPF configuration. This helps you form a picture of the security of your communications network. For example, how secure is your supply chain? Could they be open to an email impersonation attack? With notifications, you can select to receive daily or weekly reports directly to your email. You can also send reports to anyone else at your organization by adding their emails here. If you use Slack, then our chatbot is a great feature for you. It allows you to integrate on DMARC directly into Slack, where you can receive reports and classify sources. Investigate is an inspection tool that looks at the results of five signals. DMARC, SPF, DKIM, FCR DNS, and TLS. It offers you fast results for every DNS change and gives immediate insight and next steps instead of cryptic email headers. This will enable you to quickly see what configuration is necessary for all of your assets. Here is your unique Investigate inbox to which you can send an email from any of your email sending services and get immediate insight and troubleshoot if need be. You can see here, when we click into the email, Investigate will display the results to you in a series of cards. You will see immediately if you have perhaps misconfigured something or have further work to do. Making a mistake could be fatal to your email deliverability, but with this tool, you are able to catch errors and make the necessary fix. Best of all, you are also able to compare the results of your email against four different security profiles the UK Minimum Security Standard, the US Binding Operational Directive 1801, on DMARC default, or on DMARC deliverability. API access is a great feature for larger organizations, allowing you to integrate on DMARC into your existing security dashboards and workflows. We have a direct integration with SAML SSO for Okta, G Suite, and Azure that allows you to manage your users and permissions with your current configuration. By clicking on the Help tab, you will be led to our knowledge base. This is updated on a regular basis by our experts with important information for our customers. And again, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions.